don't buy Samjang. I know like half of you are probably wondering like, what do you mean don't buy Samjang? And then the other half of you are like, what the heck is Samjang? Well, let me answer your question with another question. Have you been to Korean barbecue? And if you have, have you ever tried that little sauce, a little brown reddish sauce that comes in a little side dish? And it's like, honestly, like the tastiest thing ever. And you dip your meat in it, you dip your vegetables and stuff in it as well. That is Samjang. And I'm telling you now, don't buy Samjang if you ever want to do Korean barbecue at home. Instead, buy this, buy gochujang and denjang. These two ingredients make the base of Samjang and you're going to get way more use out of these two separately for other meals than just buying samjang. Samjang is mainly used as a dipping sauce for Korean barbecue and like some other vegetables. So there's not much use outside of that. And to be honest, in my experience, buying samjang to use it once for an at-home Korean barbecue, which we probably at the time did like once a month. And now I never do it at all because we just go out and eat barbecue. And what happens is that samjang will just sit in the fridge for weeks on end. And it will either go moldy or it will go rock hard to the point where it's not even a sauce anymore. It's just like a samjang pebble. And since samjang is made from these two ingredients, plus a couple extra, which I assume everyone would have in their home anyways, my proposition is don't buy samjang, instead buy these two ingredients and make samjang whenever you need it. It's gonna be much tastier and it's gonna have a much richer umami flavor, but also making it yourself, you can make it less or more spicy depending on how you like it. And it literally just takes like less than five minutes. So I'll usually start off with about a tablespoon of denjang and from there I'll add about half a tablespoon of gochujang to that denjang and mix it up. And then we need to add a little sweetener. I'm gonna use honey for this, but you can also just use any sweetener syrups, sugar, even sodas. When I was growing up, my mom used to use like a Korean version of Sprite or Pepsi, depending on just what we had on in the fridge. If you're using honey or like an actual sweetener, you're gonna add about a teaspoon of that and then mix it in again. And then that right there is just a basic samjang, but we can take this a step further. In Korea, if you go to like a Korean barbecue restaurant, sometimes you'll find that they'll kind of like make things a little bit fancier. So they'll add some fresh vegetables to it. So. Most commonly, it's some fresh chilies, some fresh garlic, and then some fresh spring onions, all diced up really fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add garlic, spring onion, and sesame oil. We'll start with finely chopping up a garlic clove and doing the same with the green parts of a spring onion. When it comes to serving the samjang, we're gonna put it in a tiny little bowl. Cause I kinda assume if you're making Korean food or if you're dabbling in Asian food, you're gonna have sesame oil or even sesame seeds. So we're gonna take about a teaspoon of sesame oil and just drizzle it over top of the samjang and then put the garlic and the spring onion over top and then serve it like that. But don't mix it until you actually go to use it because it's just such a great little presentation to have all the raw bits on top so they can really see what goes into it. And then when you're ready, just take chopsticks, give it a good mix, make sure everything is incorporated and then it's ready to serve. You can do this when you have Korean barbecue at home or even what's a delicious way to have this is if you've got some like carrots, some cucumber sticks, or even celery, or even not spicy chilies, just dip it in this sauce and just snack away on it. It's a great way to really just make vegetables tastier. So that's once again why I say don't buy samjang, buy denjang and gochujang instead. It's so easy to make and you're gonna get so much use out of denjang and gochujang separately making other dishes. And the samjang you're gonna make out of it is gonna be 10 times tastier than any of the store bought stuff. It just means that that green little tub of samjang isn't going to be sitting in your fridge for weeks on end, gathering mold or just going completely rock hard dry, just waiting to disappoint you the next time you try to have a Korean barbecue dinner.